Hey everyone, welcome back to the Produce Industry Podcast. I'm Patrick Kelly, the host of the Produce Industry Podcast. And today I am joined by two industry friends. Now, over the last couple of years, I have been able to meet with so many people. And really the value of these relationships extends way beyond just the produce and supply chain industry, but in our lives, in our careers, and just having one-on-one -on -one connections. So today I am joined by Alexandra Ray Mullenby, the Director of Marketing for Baco Suite and Blair Butterworth, the Marketing and Events Manager for Local Bounty. Two, which I met separately, but together. And we'll talk a little bit about our friendship and how we came to be. Now, these two are both FPFC Apprentice Class alumni, and they're here to tell you and really about the program, why you should apply in 2023, and how this program has been creating so much fun and so much expert knowledge. First, let's go ahead and get Blair Butterworth on the line. Blair, what's happening? Hi there, Patrick. It's great to be here. How's it going? Great to have you. It's uh, It's been an epic year, okay? 2022 oh, yes. has been an epic year. So I'm glad to have you on today. We're going to talk a little bit more about the FPFC Apprentice Program. Now let's go ahead and uh, have Ray jump in. Hey, guys. How's it going? Ray, what's... You know, as much as your name is Alexandra, like, Ray is like your call to your go-to for me. I like, I have to just call you Ray for, for, for all intense purposes from here on out. No, you should. <laughs> Thank you. That At least you said, no, you should, instead of no, <laughs> Alexandra is the first name. So, you know, getting into this though, you know, this FPFC program, I've been invited out to FPFC. I've been to the luncheon um, in Anaheim. I've been able to spend a lot of time uh, with yourself and Blair talking about these programs. And there's so many different programs that happen, you know, leadership programs, um, healthy eating challenges. There's so much that goes on in the produce and supply chain industry. Uh, Ray, I I'd love for you to chat about your experience, your mentors, maybe even some of those favorite moments. I mean, why on earth should we be involved in, in, a, in an apprentice program? Yeah, that's a great question. Well, first of all, it started um, for me back when I worked for Grimway and they would send me to the FPFC luncheons. And I thought, well, gosh, that sounds pretty easy. Um, but little did I know that we were like the head table sponsor. And so little me was like on the front stage eating in front of everyone, hoping that all the food was going into my mouth and I wasn't making a mess, but I just, the people were so kind and so welcoming that I'm like, wow, I guess I'll keep on coming back and hopefully get a normal table. But um, after that, uh, I, you know, I, I work for Baco Suite now and started to go to the luncheons just because I remembered what a great program it was. And um, Blair told me about her experience with the apprentice program. And I just thought it would be a fantastic way to um, get network, more networking in the industry, meet friends and um, learn more as well. And, that, and that's what it's really about, uh, about networking and building relationships. You know, one thing I can tell you, my dad is 66 uh, this year. He just turned 66 in November. And some of the same customers that he deals with today at 66 were the same customers he started dealing with 30 years ago. So it is very important to gain those relationships. Now, Blair, what about you? I mean, you and I uh, sparked up a crazy friendship in, in 2021. Um, you, you actually some way introduced me to Ray because I was already following her, our Harvest Joy on Instagram. And you were like, wait a minute, that's my friend. Um, <laughs> there's been a lot of fun experiences. Um, let's talk about some of your experiences though through this program. Yeah, Patrick. So my experience was um, really similar to Ray's actually. It started at Grimway. Um, I went to a luncheon, same thing happened to me. Didn't know that um, I'd be sitting at the head table because we were a head sponsor. So um, sat up there, was hoping all the food got in my mouth as well. And just learn more about um, the program. You know, people kept coming up to me and talking to me about it and seeing if I'd be interested. And I was accepted back in 2017. And what I really got out of the program is that I learned about different uh, aspects of the industry. So, you know, I was in um, outside sales and merchandising at the time. 
But then we had all these panels on supply chain issues and, you know, food safety. And those are just aspects that I don't learn every day in my job. So it was really nice to get a well-rounded, um, you know, like from uh, knowledge from experts. So it was really uh, informative. And and that's hard to come by sometimes with, with training programs kind of being out the door when you start work, they kind of expect you to kind of get hands on and get right into it. Sometimes these leadership and training programs are a must. I mean, heck, when I started my career at Labou Citrus, I was a manager in training. Can you believe that? I mean, that's what my title was, manager in training. And I always felt so discouraged uh, of that title. And now looking back as I'm, you know, 37 years old, you know, almost 20 years ago, looking back at that, I am so glad I was a manager in training because it helped me from the field all the way through sales and marketing. And a lot of people don't understand that. People go, well, it's just citrus. You sell it. No, there's skirting of trees. They're spraying copper, right? There's water treatment. So there's so many things that if I wasn't in that training program, I might not have known some of those. So I think that it's a great opportunity to get involved. And it also gets you involved in your industry with your local peers. So if anybody wants to get involved in this program, though, how can they do that? Where can they go? Uh, this is what we got to get out to the industry. Yes, Patrick. So applications open in January 2023. So just start talking and having those conversations with your supervisor about, hey, if I'm interested in this program, can we look more into it? Can we review the dates? Um, the application will have all the dates that are required for the apprentice if they're accept accepted um, to attend and all the luncheons and the educational sessions and the tours. So just start having these conversations with your supervisor sooner rather than later. And uh, we look forward to looking at and reviewing your applications. And hopefully some of you in this room will become our next uh, apprentice class. And we're going to have some fun, right, Ray? Oh, yeah. And, um, you know, I encourage all of you to get creative with your uh, video because that's part of the application process. And um, I actually did mine in front of an orange grove in San Diego, where I live, and um, the uh, manager of the orange grove told me I needed to be off the property in two minutes or else she was going to call the cops. And I said, ma'am, I, I just need that two minutes to finish my video. So, um, I mean, it worked. <laughs> Hey, that's that's what it's about. I mean, if you haven't been kicked out of an orange grove in this industry, you have not lived, everyone. <laughs> Let me tell you right now. Well, Blair, Ray, I appreciate you uh, being involved and spreading the word of the industry, uh, you know, of this program. And if you want to hear the rest of this podcast, please log on to the Produce Industry Podcast on Apple, Spotify, Anchor, or Amazon and check out the full version. Listen to more of the podcast, learn more about FPFC, and get ready to have some fun. So as I say, we'll see you in the fields and on the horizon. Thank you for visiting the Produce Industry Show. If you like the video, please hit the subscribe button and follow. You can also check us out on Facebook and Instagram at The Produce Industry Podcast. We'll see you in the fields and on the horizon.